Welcome back to the Dynamo Soccer Report, your home for the most comprehensive coverage of the Houston Dynamo. And you'll see things here that you won't see anywhere else. All right, as we head into the locker room, here's Dominic Kinnear, the boss is up. Nah, you know what? We better not go in there. All right, as you walk in, you see all kinds of pictures of the Houston Dynamo. How about this, celebrating their title from the front page of the Houston Chronicle? And then right here is a letter from Philip's An Philip Anschutz, the owner of the Dynamo, congratulating them on their 2006 title. Here's one of my favorites. Look at this picture of the Dynamo before the opening of a game, all together unified and this huge base of orange fans behind them. That's a thing of beauty. You know what? I hope I can get a copy of that. Dwayne Dave Rosario, all great action pictures. Hey, how about this one? Brian Ching with his arm over Reagan of Chivas USA. That was that monstrous goal at Robertson Stadium. Come in here and you'll see the Dynamo and their community service as they donate gear, the players, to those less fortunate. Now, when you come in here, this is sort of the rehab room here. And just to show you that Producers have a very tough and difficult job. Our producer, Alan Litvak, trying to learn as much about soccer as possible. And, you know, it's not, the f it's not a soccer channel up there. Injured players get taken care of here. I'm sure Bruce Morgan, the trainer, spends a lot of time in this area of the Dynamo locker room. Now, as we come over, how about this? Here are the two Dynamo banners, uh, the tradition of exchanging banners with teams, as you can see, the Pachuca and Punta Arenas from the CONCACAF Champions Cup. All kinds of gear in here, and this is an area where a lot of the uniforms are done. And how about a little socializing area, a place to relax? Got a nice uh, flat screen TV, a couple of couches in here. I'll tell you what, this is a lot better than when I was playing in the 80s. Butler Stadium, the uh, locker room was sweating bullets. There wasn't even air conditioning there. All right, as we head into the changing room, this is the area where the dynamos sit before their training sessions and their practices. You know, this is pretty cool stuff being in this locker room. How about this? I don't really want to touch anything, but I'm going to touch these. These are the best. Copa Mundials. They're still around. Why but wears them? Every good locker room needs good motivational stuff. How about this? Take a look at what I found here. Determination, Strength, Houston Dynamo, MLS Cup winner 2006. But you know what I love? This is precious. From Evan, talking to the Dynamo, a little note about, hey, we believe in you and the goals will come. All right, I got more to show you. All right, this is my favorite area of the locker room. Check this out. This pile of goalkeeper gloves, all Zach Wells, and they're personalized. Never had that in the ASL. Come over here. All the shoes hanging corresponding to the player's number. Uh, let's just grab one. All right, what do we got here? Aluminum studs, number eight, Paul Dugleish. I'll tell you what, keep it in true Scottish tradition. Paul using a nice uh, aluminum studs. You've got to love that. For those who still use leather shoes, and they're a dying art, got some good shoe polish and a brush, but there's not too much of this. And if you're a kid who's playing in the community and you've got leather shoes, make sure you take care of your shoes. It's your most important piece of equipment. All right, as we wrap it up here in the Dynamo locker room, one thing you always have to check out on the way, and not all locker rooms in Major League Soccer have this, a championship banner. Let's hope the Dynamo get another one here in 2007.